I'll get rid of it. If I might venture, your grace was ill-advised to come here. Ha! Ah, indeed. The whole place is sick. I have always felt it. Even the air is rotten. <laughs> the family is accursed. Now, I have an offer on this estate. Now, the profit is in wool, not in cultivating a disease-ridden marsh. Enough. That's away. All right, you, out! Now, boys, stay, stay clear. And you, you put some more logs on the fire here. Here, boys, lower, lower. Boys, help me. Help me, help me down. Lower. Oh, go, boys. Go. Away. Oh. <laughs> oh, disease. The rotten crops. The rains. God surely must be on my side. I mean, the sooner she relinquishes this sentiment to me, the better for all concerned. Now, you mark my words. <laughs> and you? You? Eh? What will you do then? Wander around like a lost dog? Which is more or less what I do now. A man of your abilities? Oh, no, no. <laughs> I could put you to much better use. My abilities? Which one of them do you refer to? I believe that we are of the same mind. As long as this prisoner is allowed to live, we are all in great danger. Did I not try to tell her? Strangle the priest with his bare hands, and yet still she cosets him like a baby. Evil! Upon all and above all evils. <laughs> no, no, hey. A storm of lust has smashed her unhappy soul and drained her of all strength and left her empty and vulnerable, her little oyster stewing at the very thought of carnal desire. I couldn't have put it better myself, Your Grace. Uh, but she does not know what peril she is in. <sighs> now this, this year belonged to Saint Homer Bonus. Now put that to good use and it will be yours. And much more where that came from. But surely you cannot. I mean, I, I couldn't. It is natural to feel a certain trepidation when our calling is revealed. I shall pray that you won't let me down, eh? But you won't let me down.